my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 197 in this lecture we will walk through the concept of odds ratio and try to interpret the logistic regression using concept of odds ratio from the probability to odds to log of odds everything starts with the probability i can say everything starts with the concept of probability let's say that probability of success let me write probability probability of success probability of success let's say probability of success of some event probability of success of some event let me say that is p let me assume its value is 0.8 probability of failure if success probability is 0.8 means probability of failure what is the probability of failure probability of failure is 1 minus 0.8 that is 0.2 the odds of success how can i define the odds of success are defined as the ratio of the probability let me say the odds the odds of success the odds of success are defined as ratio of what ratio of probability of success by probability of failure that is 1 minus p isn't it what is probability of success my probability of success is 0.8 and what is my probability of failure that is 0.2 which is equal to i will get 4 isn't it i can say if the probability let me take another example if the probability of success p equal to 0.5 then what is my q q equal to 1 minus p that is also 0.5 uh, p equal to 0.5 means what 50 50% isn't it 50 50% chance that's odds of success then what is uh, odds of success odds of success is p by 1 minus p that one i can say 0.5 by 0.5 i can write it as 1 by 1 it is it is just like 4 by 1 4 means i can say 4 by 1 therefore i can say if the probability of success is 0.5 that is 50 50% chance then odds of success is 1 to 1 this is odds of success is 1 to 1 in this case what is odds of success in this case 4 to 1 this first case first case means this is case 1 if your probability of success is 0.8 Uh, um, then i can say then i can say then odds of success is 4 to 1 if probability of success is p equal 0.5 then odds of success is i can say 1 to 1 it, it is simple and uh, uh, straight forward here i have the transformation is monotonic what transformation the transformation from probability transformation from probability transformation from probability to odds that's important here transformation from probability to odds is a monotonic transformation this transformation is monotonic transformation meaning the odds increases as the probability increases i can say just or vice versa i can say like this just see here what is your monotonic means just see here probability 0.01 and your corresponding odds value is 0.001 if p is increasing your odds is increasing as p is increasing odds is increasing p is increasing odds p is increasing odds is increasing just just see. as p is increasing odds is increasing p is increasing odds is increasing i can say that's a monotonic relation if as p is increasing your odds is also increasing therefore this relation is 
monotonic relation isn't it it's true even it's as odds is increasing p is also increasing i can say probability ranges from what is the range of probability 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 ranges from ranges from from where to where from 0 to 1 i can say like this isn't it the probability ranges from 0 to 1 odds ranges from if probability is ranges from 0 to 1 just see if p equal to 0 then what is my odds what is the formula for odds odds is p by 1 minus p what does it mean 0 by 1 minus 0 that is 1 this is odds if p equal to 1 as p ranges from 0 to 1 minimum value is 0 maximum value 1 what is your odds corresponding odds value p by 1 minus p p means 1 by 1 minus p means 1 minus 1 that is 1 by 0 that is equal to infinity means i can say your odds ranges from uh, odds ranges from odds ranges this this one is sorry this is 0 by 1 means what this is 0 sorry sorry 0 by n minus 1 0 therefore as p your p ranges your p ranges from 0 to 1 this is range of p your odds ranges 0 to infinity means if your p probability value is 0 then its corresponding odds is 0 if probability value is 1 then your corresponding odds is positive infinity therefore i can say probability ranges from 0 to 1 odds ranges from 0 to positive infinity table of the transformation from probability to odds this is a table of transformation from this is table of transformation from probability to odds isn't it table of the transformation from probability to odds and we have also plotted just see this plot and we have also plotted for the range of p less than or equal to 0.9 what, what does it mean here what's happening here i am taking on x axis i am taking probability on y axis i am taking odds if i plot you will you are getting this one as p is increasing just see as p is increasing your odds is also keeps on increasing therefore this relationship relationship this transformation this transformation p to odds i can say it is monotonic monotonic relation isn't it isn't it the transformation from uh, I, I can say the transformation from odds to log odds is the log transformation what is my log transformation how can i define how can i define my log transformation the transformation 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 here i i have actually let me i need not exp write this one the transformation from odds the transformation from odds to log of odds log of odds is log transformation this particular transformation is log transformation isn't it again this is a monotonic transformation that is to say the gen the greater the odds the greater the odds the greater the log of odds and vice versa just see as odds is increasing log odds will increase as uh, odds is increasing just see log odds keep on increasing just see as odds is increasing as odds is increasing log of odds is increasing therefore i can say as odds is increasing log odds is, log of odds is increasing uh, that's what it says i will repeat again this is a monotonic transformation that is to say the greater the odds the greater the log of odds and vice versa table shows the relationship among the probability comma odds and log of odds plot of let me show this plot how is this plot just see odds on x axis this one is uh, uh, odds on which axis on x axis and log of odds on y axis if i plot what it gives the table the table shows relationship among the probability odds just see this is the relationship between probability odds and log of odds plot of log of odds this is plot of log of odds against against odds isn't it as odds is increasing your log of odds is also increasing just say this one i can say a logistic regression model allows us to establish 
a relationship between a binary outcome variable here my outcome variable my outcome variable is binary is binary outcome variable is binary outcome variable means i can say dependent variable otherwise i can say your dependent variable is binary variable is binary this is uh, this this is about your dependent variable or outcome variable a logistic regression model allows us to establish a relationship between binary outcome variable and group of predictor variables group of you must understand this one group of predicted group of predicted variables group of predicted predicted variables what does it mean predicted variables means independent variables predicted means independent independent variables independent variables i can say like this group of predicted variables that i can say independent variables isn't it let p uh, i am emphasize i am repeating again a logistic regression allows us to establish relationship between what between dependent variable and uh, in simple language i can say in, in it will establish a relationship between dependent variable and independent variables in simple manner i can say like this and independent variables how will it be we'll try to understand let p what is my p p be the probability of y equal to 1 just say this one p is yes just say this one my p what is this p value p is p is probability of y to be 1 probability of y equal to 1 dependent variable isn't it small p, uh, p p of y i can say small p equal to p of probability of y equal to 1 what is this x1 x2 so on x pay xk be the set of predictor variables these are predictor predictor variables i can say otherwise i can say independent variables there is another name for this one is independent independent variables isn't it independent variables then logistic regression of logistic regression of y whose logistic regression logistic regression of y on x1 x2 so on xk estimate the parameter values beta naught beta 1 so on beta k via maximum likely this method is known as this one maximum likelihood method of this this equation will come from mla maximum likelihood estimation method i will discuss about this maximum likelihood estimation method in future classes time being just understand logit means logistic uh, logit function of p p means probability whose uh, odds is that is nothing but log of lo, log of odds uh, ratio what's the odds ratio of p p by 1 minus p which can be represented as beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus so on beta k x k this beta naught beta 1 so on beta k are known as parameters this concept is derived from maximum likelihood estimation method i will discuss about it in future classes this can be written the, the, this how can i write uh, how can i return just see this how can i write this it is simple and straightforward just this one this is base e isn't it now what ha what happens p by 1 minus p equal to e power this one that is e power beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus so on beta k x k that's what it says just see exponentiate and take multiplicative inverse on both sides it's simple and straightforward log of e means what is p by 1 minus p e power something this one isn't it that is p by 1 minus p again i'm taking inverse if you take inverse what will you get 1 minus p by p equal to it will be reverse 1 by e power beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus so on beta p x p that's what it says just see 1 minus p by p equal this one e power beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus so on beta p x p or beta k x k whatever it may p or uh, k isn't it that is 1 minus 1 minus p by p isn't it now what will i write 
what is uh, if i take oh, now what's happening here just see observe partial Th this one what will i do 1 minus p by p can be written as 1 by p minus p by p p by p means 1 if you take lsm also 1 minus p by p you will get what it is which is equal to 1 by exp of beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus so on beta k x k i can write isn't it that that is 1 by p minus 1 therefore what is my 1 by p 1 by p equal to i can send this minus 1 right side therefore it will be 1 plus 1 by exponential of beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus so on beta k x k i can write like this isn't it can i write like this yes if you take lsm what will you get if i take lsm uh, uh, this will be if i take lsm you will get like this this is 1 by p isn't it changing uh, now what will i what will i do what is my p value if you how will i get my p value just reverse it you will get p equal to this will be reverse e, e power beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 by this one this is essentially your logistic regression function this is this is probability p means what probability what is the maximum value of prob p is maximum value is 1 minimum value is 0 that is 0 to 1 your logistic regression equation also varies from ma it maximum value is, is 1 and minimum value is 0 i will continue my discussion, discussion on logistic, logistic regression, regression in my, my next, next lecture, lecture that, that is in lecture, lecture number 198. Thank you.